Hello guys, this is Ezra and yeah, I just finished watching episode 5 and 6. Man, that fight with uh, Zoro and Mihawk was good. I mean, the fight choreography is great and you can almost see what uh, the techniques that they use from Rodney Kenshin uh, in the fight. And yeah, the the makeup for uh, Zoro, uh, I mean uh, Mihawk, is amazing. The beard, the the eyes, the contact lens, custom made contact lenses are uh, is amazing. Uh, kudos to the to the crew, man. Uh, also, Kobe really looks like goddamn techie. It's not a shot on teching, he just looks like teching. And the the fact that they did the reveal that I don't know if I can't remember if that's part of the manga or anime, but I don't remember Garp uh, contacting Mihawk. It's just uh, from what I can recall uh, from the anime and manga, uh, Mihawk arrived there. All of a sudden, in Baratie, and what they did here is uh, they uh, apparently a uh, uh, Mihawk killed. I mean, nobody know, nobody know dead, right? Uh, apparently, Mihawk killed uh, Don Krieg in a battle on the beach some, somewhere, and uh, in the anime. They were battling. Uh, Luffy and the others, or uh, the guys, are battling Don Creek. So Pearl and uh, the dude that uh, Sanji, for, yeah, uh, they should have been uh, fighting those guys. And in this particular version of live action, Arlong came to Baratie. Interesting, very interesting. But uh, it it actually worked. I uh, kudos to the writers and uh, the director. And having the and the creator Matt uh, for doing that, uh, for going with that vision and pulling it off. Shout out to them. Um, what else? Oh yeah, um, the reveal that Nami uh, was part of the crew and uh, already showed. Uh, I mean, show a crew crew of Arlong and showed her uh, Ar fish. Uh, I think Arlong pirate's tattoo. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, our long pirate statue. Uh, it's kind of uh, strange to me. I'm not saying it's meant. It's actually okay. Uh, what else? Uh, when the the line that they said Zoro is losing uh, so much blood or too much blood, I didn't see so. I didn't see blood. I didn't shit. Uh, I mean, I didn't see no blood. So yeah. And uh, from episode 4, I mean 5, the wound on Zoro's chest was big. I mean, the, the, what the makeup team did with the, with the wound on Zoro's uh, chest was amazing. And then in episode 6, it changed. It, it's not that big anymore. And there's no blood. I mean, when, I think that that's a problem with live action adaptation is that when they say it's losing a lot of blood, it should show blood. I mean, they already decapitated people and stabbed people, you know, stabby stab, but uh, there's no blood. I mean, that's just wrong for me. If you're gonna go all in, do it. I mean, it's just ketchup, right? Ketchup or colored water with cornstarch or whatever. But overall, uh, episode uh, 5 and 6 is amazing. And, uh, what they did in the anime or and the live action uh, was uh, in this is with the Sanji's backstory. So when they did the backstory of Zep and Sanji, they they got the thing from the manga, not the anime. I mean, it showed there that you know Zep ate his foot, not the the, the manga. The, they did the the manga thing. Because in the anime, uh, if I'm not mistaken, um, Zef starved himself to uh, make sure that Sanji got all the food. And yeah, Zef ate a goddamn foot. It was amazing. 
uh, we can actually see uh, uh, I mean the, the remnants of uh, some, some of his fleshy bits on his leg yeah uh, overall uh, the show uh, is good so far um, from 1 to 6 I reckon it's if I'm gonna give it a rating I'm gonna give it at least 7 7 to 7.5 out of 10. Alright, so I'm gonna watch uh, episode 7 and 8, the final two episodes of season 1. And yeah, uh, I'll uh, share my thoughts after that. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Talk to you guys there. Bye bye.